I'm Debbie Mills and I am the lone lady on the building committee. My name's Troy Lupo. My wife Lanny and I started coming here in 2014. My name is Darren. I'm chair of the building committee and uh, I work for a construction company called Graham Construction. I have been going to SPAC honestly all my life. My dad was actually one of the founding members. We are going into our big celebration this uh, spring of 80 years of this church. And he was one of those people who started this church way back when. We were referred to come to this church. We were actually living in Shore Park at the time and our pastors out there said, you, if you're gonna move to Stony Plain, you gotta go to Stony Plain Alliance. And uh, I spoke highly of Pastor Graham and so we started coming here and instantly both of us felt at home. I started going to SPAC about uh, 12, 13 years ago, and uh, it uh, just seemed to be a natural fit for me. The big thing is for me is knowing that no matter who walks in the doors, they're going to be loved, they're going to be supported, they're going to be accepted, um, and they're going to hear the gospel. We haven't been here that long, but we've been here long enough to, to hear a lot about the influence that they've had in the community and the history here, the stories and, and the building. We did feel the impact of the fire because this is our church home and recognizing that the impact of that losing that building did have consequences and and that was far-reaching in a lot of ways. I had mentioned that my dad was one of the founding members of this church and there's something that he used to say regularly. He used to always use the phrase, the best is yet to come. And I feel like that's the thing for SPAC. I feel like the best is yet to come. I just dream of the day when we can have this space where there's a place for our kids and a place for our youth and our moms and a, a home for them to meet and, and you know, the, the men and the women and the, the whole community. So I, that really excite me, excites me to know that we can move back into a home that we can call our own and so um, I, I know the plan of the church uh, because I'm on the building committee and it's it's going to be a beautiful space so this really excites me. You know as we developed the plans and talked about the uses of the spaces and talked about how you know we would function within the space or uh, the, how the building could enable new ministries or new connections to our community. Um, I have such a positive view of how we are going to grow within the church and I think the more that I've gone through this process I've realized how much God is going to reach beyond our current ministries and do things beyond what we thought would even be possible within these spaces and I believe that he's spoken that into the way that we've designed this building. You know, I'm really excited to see what Christ is going to do. We're excited about what's coming down the line because of what we've seen God do through this season of, of the fire happening and, and what he's done through our church and in our church and in people's hearts and how we rallied together and seeing that happen and what, what has happened in this season is, is only a taste of what I believe is to come for the next season. We're building up to something that will ring in, in eternity. It will because of the way that we raise our children, the way that we welcome our neighbors to this place, and how we love people in this building and, and outside of this building in our community. That will live on f way <laughs> more than we can even imagine. And the things that we do now to set that set that up for the next however many years, it has eternal effects in a good way. It's not just getting to that ribbon cutting ceremony. It's the next 25, 30, 50, or who knows how many years that this building can be used as a tool for this community. We just realize that, you know what, God, you're in control of this all. You're in control of our ability to keep working so we can continue to be generous to the church that we love. And that's what I really, um, I really hope for everybody that calls back their home at whatever level they can, just to understand that God's in control of everything in your life. He knows the beginning from the end. 
lean in in faith and trust Him to provide. Melissa and I had a lot of conversations about uh, you know, what and how much it was a question of, you know, how much time are we giving and, and is that enough? And it more became a question about faith. I believe Jesus is trying to ask us to step out in faith and walk with him. And, you know, we chose to give in a way that was going to cause us to trust that he was going to provide for us and say, I trust you with these resources and I know that you're gonna do something great with them that's gonna lift you up. Not everybody gets a chance to be a part of a campaign like this. When we were presented with the, the challenge and, and the call to, to, to stand up and be a part of this campaign, um, I had to ask myself the hard question of, of what does this mean? What does this mean for me and my family? And yeah, I'm, as a building committee, we give a lot of our time and, and our resources in, in, in that way, but um, there's a faith component to give sacrificially towards this, to make this come to fruition. And that's between me and God. That's between me and Lanny and, and our Savior to sit down and be like, what are you calling us to do? And that's what I want for, for everybody. My friends that are sitting out in the congregation, all the people of SPAC, I want them to be blown away by how God is gonna work in their life and how God is gonna bless them.